Welcome to this week's app of the week. Today we're going to be talking about Seesaw. This is a digital journal app that's great for um, your students to begin posting some of their content, some of the videos, maybe some pictures that they have taken and post them um, in their own personal feed and it kind of serves as a great e-portfolio source um, for students to begin posting some of their work. So we're going to take a look at this app. I'm going to show it to you from um, mostly from the teacher perspective, but also I'll, I'll talk about it from the student perspective as well. So when you go to the Seesaw app, it's available um, in the App Store. You can also get it on your iPhone, but you can also access this from a computer as well. Um, I'm going to sign in as a teacher. Um, you do need to create an account, um, but you can use your Google account to do that. So I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in by clicking I am teacher and sign in with Google. Uh, and then you just select your Google account and then agree to those things and then you'll be able to um, see your class and see your feed. Now, uh, now this again, as for my teacher view, um, I already have a class set up. When you set up your, when you create your account, it'll ask you to set up a class. So you'll be able to do that from right there. Um, you can also uh, add additional classes by hitting the, 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 the three lines in the top left hand corner and then you can select new class and when, when you do that this will come up you'll be able to give your class a name and then you'll also be will be able to add your students in there as well um, once you're done you'll hit the plus sign I mean the, the, the check mark the check mark so I already have a class that, that that's set up in here I already have something in my feed um, if I wanted to add additional items to my feed, I'm just going to hit this plus sign in the top right hand corner and then you'll see I have different options here, different kinds of things that I can add. I can add photos, videos, drawings, I can have something for my camera roll, I can also add notes and a link. So um, I'm just going to um, select a note um, and say um, this is my practice note and then once I am done, I am going to hit the uh, the green check mark. Um, I can hit the. I have different options up here where I can do a recording. Uh, this is me recording over my practice note that I have. I hit the red square to stop it. Um, I can hit the um, green check mark at the bottom. Now, now I've, I've added some sort of annotation, a little bit of narration over my notes that, that I've included within here. So I can also um, click my notes set to, to it to begin adding more content to it. Once I'm done, I hit my green check mark at the top and now it's going to pull up all the students in my class and I can select where this is going to go. So if I want, so if I want this particular piece to go to a specific student, I can um, or I can send it to my entire class. So the great thing about this is, is as a teacher, I can post um, not only for myself and for the entire class, but I can also post on behalf of a student um, as well. Um, so I have that that capability as well. That green folder is, is, is that, that green box is, is a folder that I created. So you can also create folders on here to organize yourself um, by by going right here next to where where I have everyone. They have folders here. I can create folders in here. So if I want to organize, I want to have a folder for my, my my math, my English, my science, social studies, so on and so forth. I can create folders and then put these different items in those folders to keep all my posts uh, organized. Okay. Um, and then also, you, uh, now I can see everything that, 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 that's in my feed. There's a picture that, that I took. You'll, you'll notice up here, um, it says this is going to everyone. So that I know there's no scoring from everyone. You'll notice that the posts that have underneath it says it's just going to student A. So here's something I can see where it's just going to just this particular student. No, no other student can see it. Um, some other great things about this is students can post as well. Students will do the same thing when, when they want to post. They can click the plus sign and add something to their feed. They can they can also you, um, post things on students' behalf as well. But you, you can change that in, in your settings if you if you want to. Um, when students post something, um, I, I have to approve it. You'll see this red line at the bottom. It says unapproved items. If I if I want to approve um, some items that students have posted. I just click that unapproved items and I can go through here and decide um, do I want to delete some of these things. You'll see here some of the items that were posted. Um, this was something that was posted on behalf of student B. Here's a video. There's a, here's a link to CMS Learn's website that was posted by the Harrison student. And here's another video posted by Harrison student as well. So if I wanted to get rid of a video, um, something I didn't want to approve, I can just hit the delete button. 
If I wanted to improve everything else, I can just hit approve at the bottom and now those items will, will go out to, to those students. Okay, um, and so that is essentially um, how you can work the uh, um, CISO. I also want to mention you can invite parents as well too when you click the, 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 the three lines at the top. You can invite parents so they can view their students' journal as well. They have different views where you can, for, for how you can look at uh, your students. We've been looking at the feed view this entire time so you can see this by feed. But if you wanted to, you can also look at this from a calendar view and you can see um, which, what items are posted on the day. So I can see on the 12th, there were four items posted. So um, it gives you those different options. But that is kind of how Seesaw works. Again, it's a good digital learning app um, that you can use and play with. Um, but you have some great help resources there with some videos that are helpful for you to go through and manage and change settings and see how it works. Um, but check it out. It's a great thing that you can do for ePortfolios and, and implementing this into your classroom.